bright. And that really speaks for itself, apart from numerous other wins and performances where he has represented his country of Scotland. Perella would argue, though, because he doesn't really believe that there's a better player in the world than him. He's confident, some would say cocky, but his record's so good that he can afford to be. Silver medalist at the Commonwealth Games, 14 Masters singles titles, he really is one of the great players in world bowls today. Well, the rivalry between the two was apparent before this match even started. On the second of their two warm-up ends, there was a dispute as to whether or not Perella could place the mat up the green. Wood insisted that it should be placed at the six-foot mark. Tournament director Sam Murphy was called in, and first round went to Perella. But that wasn't the important round, and let's go to the important round now. We pick it up right at the start. Perella's bowls have the red and white discs, Woods have the blue discs, and in commentary, Cedric Smith and Ian Cleland. finishing about three and a half feet behind. And here we are, his opponent, the silver medalist at the Commonwealth Games, Rob Perella. And his discs will have red and white. There they are, identification marks on them so that we can identify them during the course of this game. And as usual, the first man to reach 21 shots. said this game of bowls is the art of correction to try and get your bowls nearer and nearer to the jack and that's a good example there by Willie Wood who's taken about a foot of running off his previous bowl and now only about or oh, 18 inches to two feet behind. On the other hand Rob Perella he blocked himself with his first bowl on the forehand changing his hand now coming down on his backhand. Wood plays his third bowl away from the clubhouse. A slight southerly breeze at the back of the bowlers. And Wood getting past this one, just sliding past. It could have made two shots. Interesting, before the game started, they had a bit of a confrontation about the placing of the mat in trial ends. I've never seen it before, but I wouldn't say there was ill feeling. But uh, obviously, one of the players, or even both of them, didn't know the rules. And they had to go to the umpire, and the game hadn't even started to get a ruling on it. Have you ever seen it before? No, you know, I haven't. But provided the uh, length of Jack is uh, greater than 25 yards in trial ends, uh, it doesn't really matter where the mat is placed, I feel. Mm. Provided at the start of the game under international oh, yes. laws, the back of the mat has to be four feet from the rear ditch. Yes, but Willie Wood was adamant that it had to be on the... Uh, what we call the, in Australia, the two metre mark or in the international rules, six foot mark. And Prowler had it up some 10 yards, but uh, Willie Wood called the umpire in a practice end. <laughs> Little bit of feeling that uh, could spur somebody on. Wood still on the backhand, holding two shots. His last bowl on this, the first end. Gets inside that. Prella hasn't got a bowl within three to three and a half feet. So Prella with the last bowl of this, the first end, is in uh, quite a lot of trouble. Could be three down. for a yard. Has he got too much? Let's see if I'm going to cut one out. That could be, could be second shot. The tactics play an enormous part and Willie Wood's got the mat well back. 
but he's only thrown at three quarter length I think that when Perella wins the mat you're going to see some fancy short ends Wood playing on the backhand towards the clubhouse is going to be a long long way short will certainly be a lot closer. Oh, that's a pretty good start. Now, Willie Wood is dissatisfied with the backhand and has already changed to the forehand. He hasn't found much extra. He's found another yard, but he's still a yard short. No need for Prattle to change his hand. He's satisfied he can draw around that bowl. And he has done that quite successfully. Two good bowls. So the Scotsman's got to find about another yard and a half of running in order to try and reduce this two-shot advantage that Perella has at the moment. Well, that last bowl of Woods has forced Perella to change his hand and he's now coming down on his backhand. Still lying his, those two shots from his first two bowls. Positional bowl there, just in case Wood, with his last bowl, decides to have an on shot and try and scatter this head. That's the only bowl that's behind that last bowl of Perellas. Each man got one to come, and that is the position from behind the head. Would no doubt be electing to follow his last bowl down, possibly, and try and tap it up a bit. No, he's deciding to try and open up this head. And he's taken out his own. It's an unfortunate bowl there from the Scotsman, so definitely, as we see there, two shots to Perella. Maybe three. The bowl in the bottom of the screen, closer than the blue disc bowl at about 12 o'clock from the jack. And still has Perella got another to come. I feel Ian here pick up definitely three shots. Well, that's another one for Perella, and definitely we see there three shots. I was having a look to see if it could be a fourth. Looks as if a measure is going to come out. Marker Arnold O'Brien propping that bowl up so that it doesn't fall as it's being measured. That is um, Perella's bowl. Just too fast. Yeah. Yeah. end of the measure going on the jack. Tightening the measure so that it's taut between jack and bowl. That is Perella's. Now we go round and see how the difference is between that bowl and this one of Willie Brooks. Three. three. And it was three players four one. shots, so it's just three shots in. Three shots, most important shots to Rob Perella. 
and already oh. the tactics have started. Should With be right. Barella having won it's that last slow. end, okay. he has brought the mat up some eight to ten yards and rolled the jack just over the minimum length of 25 yards and now sets himself for his first bowl on this end, a forehand draw shot. feet behind. <laughs> Four feet behind. And both men should now take Endeavour to take a little weight off their delivery in order to get that bowl finishing closer to the jack. And this is what Perella has done. Just a shade wide with his green. Correction from Willie Wood. Yes, indeed. Couldn't ask better than that, Ian. That was a magnificent uh, recovery shot. And two down to one up. Here he goes. Took one of his own out, so he could well be... Uh... No, he's not. No, he's... Only one. Stance of Willie Woods, so unusual. And here he is. Look at this. Oh, he's made a target now. I think Bob Farrella will accept the challenge. Winding up. Like a rocket. Oh, what a shot. But he's still one down. Or is he? The last bowl of this end. So Willie Wood decides to have a go. And he's got it! He's made two shots! That is a magnificent shot for Willie Wood! Port Phillip Bay as we come across Bow Morris and the local tennis court here to the bowling green as we see the next end Willie Wood bowling now to a pretty well a full length jack of some 34 35 yards and this one falling short by about six feet feet behind. <laughs> this man now wants to put a little bit more weight on his bow. And he's done it, but he's still a good yard short. the brakes here soon. Is he going into the ditch, yes. And the marker removes it and places it on the bank. This end is about 38 yards. And I think it's uh, trapped them both. One has put down two short ones. Now he's trying to correct with his third. Looks as though he's around this and makes a very, very good shot. last bowl of course went into the ditch so he's got to take off at least a yard and a half of weight 
pretty good effort. Second shot. Up one to his own, through the gap, trail the Jack Willie. Yes, he did. Jack in the ditch is worth two shots. Two down. Two, <coughs> nine plays three. They've conceded the fact that it is two more to Wood, who now goes to a very handy lead. Nine to three. He's getting a pretty early grip on this game because he's bowling more consistently than Perella. Of course, Perella did a couple of silly things. One was a disastrous one, which cost him three shots. Now that's not a very good start by Wood, and this could give Perella a chance to get back into this game. But he needs a good close bowl to get some confidence, because uh, he appears to me to be lacking confidence. This is the one he's looking for. Bowl of Woods is shot. So Perella has got to take off about a foot. If he takes off a foot, he would get the shot. Not a bad looker. Not a bad looker. That is the shot. Playing the forehand pretty consistently, coming down to the clubhouse. Wood, trying to get inside that last bowl. Succeeding, knocks it out of the road. He gets the shot. Well, Ian, this end is improving as each bowl is delivered. Yes, after the first bowl particularly. Oh, now Perella with his third bowl. Is he picking up the jack? Yes, he's trailing, but going over there. To so that first bad bowl that Willie Wood delivered. And now it turns out to be the nearest to the jack. But Willie Wood, with his last bowl, has got to get another one close because if that last bowl uh, uh, that Perella will deliver should remove the shot bowl of Willie Woods, he could then pick up three shots. See, and it has the next three closest bowls after that shot that Willie Wood is currently lying to. This bowl must finish somewhere near the jack. No doubt Wood has noticed this. Has he got the weight to reach? No, he hasn't. There's a live bowl in the ditch of Perellas. If that blue disc one closer to the deck should be removed, which isn't a toucher, of course, then Perella could pick up some shots here. And he's going for it. Keeper Willie really Wood there. So it's one more shot then to Willie Wood, and now he's into double figures, leading his opponent Rob Perella 10 3. Willie Wood, his first bowl, next end. Playing once again to a comparatively long one. And a very good start this is too. About 
12 inches short of the jack. Good reply here from Rob Prella. Just beats him. I think the marker is going to signify. Save yours. Far as it shot. Fifteen inches. Wait for this one. No. Two feet short. Yeah. Well, there from Perella, now lying two. needed here from the Scotsman. Is he resting this bowl out? No, just passes it, but I think it's what is falling in. Yes, it fell in and gave yes. the Scotsman <laughs> shot. So Willie Wood is lying one, but uh, Perella asking, have I got two seconds? As though Perella is going to have a go at this shot bowl. do something about his game or he's going to fall in a great big hole soon he's had three drives uh, he had one successful one early and he's had two misses and if wood happens to lean on that bowl which is uh, I think it's about nine o'clock he's gonna be in trouble one there at three o'clock it is that bowl goes out wood could make three shots up on the backhand. He's got to be inside it to hit it. Oh, he's got my hand hit it in. Whoa! Well, is he going to have another go with his last bowl? Doesn't look. Yes, he is. How many more times can he miss? Giddy! Well, that cat nearly went out in the street. There's the bowl of Perellas coming down. You'll see it comes straight up the line. Now it just drifts off to the right. Bias takes over, he's through the gap, Jack comes flying back, it's left the ground and flies over that pack there. What a good shot. Yeah. Really Woods Bowl finishing no more than nine inches behind the Jack. is not a little heavy with his first bowl. Green was good as we see, finishing pretty well on the centre line, but gone through about three and a half feet. And again, 
with his second bowl. Perella's going to drive at these two offending shots. And he's missed the two shots, he's hit his own bowl, and now he hasn't got anything on the green. I'm beginning to wonder if all this is necessary, Ian. There's an old saying, they use it in golf and they use it in bowls. You drive for show and you draw for dough. I'll back the fellow that's a good draw shot against a good driver any day of the week. Well, wherever this bowl of Willie Woods finishes, it'll be another shot because Perella hasn't got anything on the green. And there they are. All those bowls within about two feet of the jack. Perella having another drive. This is with his third bowl this time. And he's missed again. Well, he doesn't want to lose many more shots, Ian, or I think he's let this game run away from him. He's trailing now by three shots to ten, and he's three down as we see here, and he's only got one bowl to go. just wondering what Dennis Dalton is doing as he's watching this and thinking about this game when they meet later in their tournament. Look at this. Look at this for bowling. Four magnificent shots from Willie Wood. Terrell has got one bowl left. What an enigma to be in. He's going to drive again because he's committed himself. And he's lost four shots through three drives. Not successful. And Wood leads 14 to 3. Wood has a, what I would call a stranglehold on this game. The way he is bowling. Because he is drawing so beautifully. If I may use a phrase I think I used in the last Jack I series, and Tim Lane didn't know what I was talking about. He's drawing like a mustard plaster. with bowls like this. Now this man has got to take stock of himself. <coughs> he is a great draw shot player. That was a good bowl. It's not all that far away from the jack. Drop one short. Well, he just can't, one, can't go on bowling like he has been all the time without making a mistake or two, surely. Now, Perella just has to take a little bit of weight off. Has he got enough? Has he got enough? Yes. You see, that man can draw. Why doesn't he do it more often? Five inches short of Jack High. Two down. One down. So a double chance here for Willie Wood. He can either draw that shot off by just resting against it or just trailing the Jack to his own. But he's going to miss both by the looks of things. Yes, just a shade too wide. Weight was good. a yard short for Rob Perella. I don't know if he meant to do that. He certainly may have blocked Willie Wood from a firmish bowl to contact the shot bowl. There we see at nine o'clock may necessitate Wood coming down the other way from the top right of your screen and trying drawing him off that way. But having had three bowls on the forehand, he might not decide to change. 
he's got confidence he'll do it and he's going to he's going to come down on his backhand and try and remove that shot ball but he's not got the green he's cutting too quickly so unless Rob Farrella does anything stupid this end there's another shot coming to him chance of Perella to get another shot. Is he reaching? Yes, I think he's got it. Oh, it's fallen out again. And this he got up sufficiently. One out. One, four, fourteen. Yes, just one shot there to Rob Perella. Trails four, fourteen. On the next two ends, Perella made some ground. He took two shots at the 11th, another two at the 12th to move to within six. However, he undid all that when he let Wood in for four at the next end. Perella then picked up one more to trail nine to 18, going to the 15th. So Perella trying to keep this game alive. He's got to stop his opponent from scoring three more shots. Otherwise, it's all over. heavy there from Willie Wood finishing four feet through. Two good bowls there from Barella. wants to correct and take a, a little off but he's taken too much off and as we see there falling some four feet short Prella holding two coming down on the forehand and endeavor to make three I doubt it Backhand shot from Wood, looking for a yard. Oh, he just wicked his own net. Oh, that would one would take the place of the other, the two blue bowls. So he's only two down. His weight was all right, but his last ball was just his green. He was too wide. Starting to move nicely. Oh, this is a good foul. It could be the last ball of the game. Because he needs three to win. On the other hand, Ian, if he slices the jack, he could go down four. Yes, but he's already three down. Yes, but he could go down one more. This is the unfortunate. Oh, he's having a drive. Well, I thought he might. But he's too wide, isn't he? He's got the shot ball out. So he's still two down. 11 to 18 is a score in favour of Wood. <laughs> Perella has got the mat back almost as far as he were allowed to take it back, and that is six feet. And he has thrown it almost of capacity length, so it's a good 36 yard length. And this, to me, would be the longest end that they've played. And he looks as though he's way to a very, very good start. Oh, that's a mighty bowl. Wood is playing both sides, uh, or the same side of the green going to and from the clubhouse. That's a forehand to the clubhouse, a backhand away from it. 
That wasn't a bad bowl. He's only 18 inches or so short. So that's two very good bowls to start this long end with. He's done it again. He has done it again. Two magnificent bowls from Perella. <coughs> Willie Wood might have a little bit of an upshot here on his backhand. Oh, good shot. Got one of them out. I still, I don't want to harp on it, Cedric, but when you see a man like Perella bowl, two magnificent bowls like that, why did he murder two ends of four by driving? Yes, it was unnecessary, I feel, in my humble opinion, Ian, and I think you'd agree. Left this a bit short. I have to get those two fours that I gave him, I'll catch him. Yes, that's the difference, isn't it? Bad bowls do when I go in fours. Reserve. Willie Woods, third bowl. Coming down now and not the drive this time. Endeavouring to reach. Just misses that jack if he'd picked it up. Would have been so useful. So Perella's last bowl here. Can he make it two shots? He's lying one at the moment. his own is it stopping no it's run on <coughs> wood persisting in his backhand <coughs> endeavoring to trail this jack if he can to his own back bowl or else remove the shot but he's too wide this time. And it is another shot then to Rob Perella, who now advances to 12. But Willie Wood away <coughs> away One, on 18. 12, 18. Was trailing by eight shots to 18, has come up to 12, 18. <coughs> and bowling again to another pretty well full-length jacket, somewhere in the region of about 35 yards. Run the last three ends with two singles and a two. I'm going away here to a good start. 15 inches short. there as we see by the last bowl woods first bowl seven inches interesting to note that in the commonwealth games when they met in brisbane wood defeated perella by 21 shots to 12. And at the moment wood is leading perella by 18 shots to 12. can you get well that's rather block things there Ian yes. for the drive one down
across the head, isn't he? Got the two back valves, but one down. Wood on the backhand, away from the clubhouse. Would need to touch his opponent's going around the back. Well, I think that's pretty good insurance because the two back bowls, as you can see, belong to the red and white ones, belong to Perella. So he's gone for cover, satisfied to hold the one that he's got at the moment with only one bowl to be played on this head. Is there or two? No, one bowl. <coughs> Perella's got to be very careful. He's only got one bowl on the head. His object is to try and just lean on it and turn it once or twice for shot. Oh. Great try. on 12, Wood gets within two of victory, well, 19. <laughs> Playing down on the forehand. It's a little overweight. Gone through quite a distance. This part of five, six feet nearly. one here from Perella. Very good bow. It's corrected well here. Not well enough. Took off his... Uh, Six feet, but he took off about seven. The last bowl is 14 inches short. Changed his hand. Not there. Gee, that's a bad bowl. Two yard short, possibly a bit more. So Willie Wood, who needs two for victory, is one down on the head. Easy length to come down on the backhand, but he's contacting that short bowl of his opponents and promoting it, but makes no difference. Varela still lies one. Wives there looking on as they watch Perella with his third bowl. Better weighted one this time. And the absolute. last chance. Two down. Trying to pick up this jack if he can and take it to his own back bowl. Is he turning in time? Is he got it? No! Perella lying two shots. Can he make it three with this last bowl?
Steady. Yes, I think so. If it falls in, and it has, I think that's three shots. Three, 15, 19. 15, 19. <coughs> Score is now after 18 ends. Very long in this maximum 36 yards. over a yard behind. This man wants two for victory. Was leading 18 shots to eight at one time, but now 19-15. That's about the same distance short of the jack as Prella was over. How much over am I? Three feet, three inches. <laughs> so if Corella wants to have a bow resting against the jack, he's got to take three foot, three inches off the weight of his previous bow. And he's taken about six foot six inches off because that's about the same distance short of the jack as his first one was over. <sighs> this bowl of Willis, Woods is running on like four and a half feet behind the jet. Corella, ain't the poor hand. He's got to find at least a couple of feet on his last bowl. Oh, has he found something? Passed it. The absolute shot. Wood on the backhand. A bit of weight on, but it's good enough to get second shot. No option but to play another draw shot on the forehand. And out wide. Weight looks pretty good. Turns his own. Passes it. Has he made two though? I would say yes. Bowl on this end. I've got a feeling he's two down and he's playing an upshot. He's trying to shift the shot bowls or both of them. He's troll! Oh! Got one of them out. But another half inch and he could have had the jack in the ditch. I believe it's 16, down. 19. Yes, it is. One shot to Perella. So he gets a little bit closer. Trail 16 to 19. Well, Prella come right back into this game. He was down 3-14. He's won eight of the last ten ends. Left it a little short, but it's a good start. It's a good start. Looks better. How far is it? <coughs> the 
last bowl is 15 inches short. On the forehand, coming down to the clubhouse. Just a little bit too wide, as well as being a fraction too long. So he's one down. Remember that Wood needs two for victory. <coughs> There's the bowl that's coming in to help him get that. He's made it. He's holding two. He's holding game. Corrello is under the hammer. Oh, Ferrella, seeing that his victory is going to Willie Wood at the moment with those two shots, he's going to try and disturb them. And he's missed with that bowl, he's only got one more to go. Mary Rosemary Perella watching. As Willie Wood's third bowl comes down. Doesn't want to make too much of a target here. They're all in a straight line as we see. And there's another one. It's not in the count, but nevertheless, he's got the two shots for victory. Now, Perella's last chance. And he's going to drive to try and get himself out of this. left one shot there of Willie Woods. That had the jam, Cedric. Indeed. Indeed it did, uh, Ian. And there we see the closest bowl of Perellas in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. And if Willie Wood, with his last bowl, can draw another shot nearer to the jack from that distance that Perellas is away, the game is all over. Lying one. Here comes the second. 